Today we're going to be using one of my best golem decks. I have a 61.3% win rate with it out of 62 games. The community, 58%. Not bad. I beat Cal Pedro, who finished number two in the CRL World Finals in 2023. And I'm going to continue to use this deck and see if we can push up from our current spot of 2,211. And I'm going to show you guys a replay from one of my games. And it was against Cal Pedro, a Supercell creator, a former number one finisher. And last season, he finished 18th in the world. And we're just going to hop right into the replay. I'm going to be kind of going over my thought process of this game. So, as soon as I saw who it was, I instantly was like, okay, I got to do something. Night Witch, Golem at the Bridge. I have to. I got to set the tone straight. And honestly, with this deck, this is not a bad move. I honestly don't think it's that bad of a move. People always dog on golem players for going golem in the back first play. But if you do Night Witch Golem at the bridge, it puts your opponent in a compromising position. They have to force out a lot of their cards. And then you know what deck they're running, and they don't get to play at their own pace. That's basically what happened here. I get a lightning on the little prince in the expo, but he does activate the guardian ability. Guardian only gets a couple hits. I use my phoenix, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous at this point, but when he places pump, oh, I thought the game was over. I place my pump, he goes log on my pump, and at this point, I was like, it's over. It's over, he has pump, he has a faster cycle, He's just going to cycle back to another pump, and it's game over for me. But he's not doing anything. You can see he has full elixir, and he's not cycling his cards that well. I think... I, I don't know what he's thinking in this point. And he goes expo at the bridge. I place golem just half a second too late, and the expo is locked onto my tower. And at this point, I genuinely thought I lost the game. I was like, oh. It's over, but somehow we're getting a really good push. We have a ton of Night Witch bats. The Duchess Tower does not do well against Golem. It's fantastic. It's, uh, it's the Golem buff I've needed. So every time I see a player using the Duchess Tower, going Night Witch Golem, like first play, is not going to be a bad thing. Now, even with Cannoneer, it could be a good thing. You still got to be careful, but yeah, I, I I don't think it's that bad of a play, depending on what deck you're using. My deck is a little bit different than what a lot of the meta is right now, but at this point, tower's gone. All I got to do is defend. We have all the spells necessary. We go Night Witch, Bomber, and I'm going to Evo Zap as well to make sure that he does not get any more damage. He doesn't have any spells, like big spells. He just has a fast cycle and he's laughing because he knows the game's over and that's GG's. I'm currently 874 with this Golem Night Witch deck and I just recorded a bunch of footage. Actually, I did not record a bunch of footage winning all of these games. We had one, two, three, four, five dubs in a row. And I just got the recording of the last one, which is so unfortunate. But we beat Mega Knight Spam. We beat Pekka Bridge Spam. That was a really good game. We beat Mortar Graveyard, Lava Loon. And we just beat the Elixir Golem deck as well. And which moved us up to 876. It's unfortunate we didn't get the footage of that but i think i'm just gonna play another one and if i lose this one if i if i lose this game we're gonna go over those games that i did win and just kind of talk you through how i play this deck and how you guys can do well all right this guy's spam 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 all right um he has the same deck as my last opponent, but he was very eager to get everything down 
ASAP. He's going to place the pump, and we're going to lightning it. Right? Yep, there it is. Now we're going to lightning it. Maybe you should have lightning the left side, but we're fine. We're going to zap. We're going to get LP. We're going to wait for him to pop ability. If he does it all. He does. Alright, we're going to arrow. Oh, man. I, I really didn't need an arrow, but we now do have our lightning in cycle, which is necessary for his pump. But I didn't realize... I'm so traumatized from the old Skelly Kings who would spawn a ton more skeletons. So, he's going to place his pump again. Kind of wish I placed it on that side. He would have played it on the other side. But now we have even damage on both towers. And he's barely doing any. He's, he's playing very, very, very aggressive, which is just... It boggles me. So... We're going to get a Night Witch on the left here for the Silkser Golem. And he's going to go Evo Skeletons. We are going to go Little Prince. Um, excuse me. And we're going to go Bomber here. I'm going to Evo Zap his Skeleton King. And we're going to pop LP ability. We're going to arrow this. And we're going to get a Night Witch down. He gets another pump down. We have to Lightning that. We're going to get our Evo Bomber in the next cycle. Let's get LP down. Let's just zap the cycle. Let's get Night Witch. Now, at this point, I don't think we need to go lightning on the pump. We're actually just going to build our golem push. And, yeah. Let's get our let's get our evil bomber down. He dies instantly. He's ready for it. This guy is just tap happy right now. We're going to pop our ability here. We're going to zap. And he's not going to be able to defend this at all. GG's, bro. Maybe don't spam. Game over, bro. Game over. Put that on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, well, we didn't lose, so I guess we don't need to go over those games. But now we are 656 in the world right now. Let's keep going. And, yeah. I just... It's unfortunate that I didn't get the commentary. Because I went on a whole rant about how I stopped smoking weed about a month and a half ago. And... I've been playing so much better in Clash Royale. I've been doing so much better. And I can relate uh, to... Well, I can relate me winning more and doing better to me stopping smoking weed. Because I used to do it every single day. And I definitely had an unhealthy relationship with it. And it was causing me to have more anxiety. Which is something that... I have been struggling with my whole life, and it's been hard to deal with, but smoking weed was a way to deal with that anxiety, but it was just giving me more. We're going to pop ability here. I'm pretty sure he's playing Graveyard. Giant is just so overpowered right now. But if you guys want to know how to get better at Clash Royale, you might have to stop smoking weed if you do. Um... I know some people it's a non-negotiable. I thought that, you know, I was never going to stop and that, you know, I beat the best players in the world while I was high or smoking and I was under the impression that I never needed to stop because um, I thought it would help me. And it, it really does. It has its benefits, but, you know, I was doing it so much and it was spending so much money on it. And I just wanted to get better, and I know that doing that, stopping, was going to help me play better. So, I suggest that if you guys want to play, reduce the amount that you do smoke. And if you can't, you might have to take a break. I'm about a month and a half through right now, and I'm screwed.
All right, we're gonna have to ego zap this. Also get our bomber. This might be our first loss. And if this is our first loss, I am going to just go over those games that I did win and explain why I did the things that I did. So I can't really comfortably get a pump down. That's the hard part about this. Um, so I'm going to go Golem at the bridge here. Because he's just going to go giant and block whatever I have. And Bowler will take out most of our troops. Alright. Zap the Fishman. Golem gets some taps on the tower. Nightwitch is going to help take out that bowler. Not exactly, but almost. We're going to get Collector here. Drag that giant Nightwitch down. Let's get a zap on this bowler. And there is literally nothing we can do about this matchup. GG's. Alright. Let's just go over those games that I did play for you guys. Solid push, we are ending off at 840 in the entire world. Very nice. Let's see where that is locally. That is around 136. Very nice. Let me go over the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam game. Because I feel like this was a really good matchup. For my opponent to counter me, but they didn't. And they have Pekka. They're gonna go Pekka first play. I go Zap first play. I don't think there's anything wrong with cycling your Zap first play since it is two cycle. It's very nice to to get it. In in my head, I was like, I really hope he doesn't have Mother Witch, or else we're gonna have to lightning that. And then he does go Mother Witch, and then. At this point, I was very worried, but we have our little prince down, and the LP ability is going to be able to clean up the bandit and the royal ghost, which was a surprise because sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes the bandit will dash onto the little prince and take it out, but right now we're pretty even on elixir. I do have slightly more elixir than he does. He has the battle ram in hand, which I don't really think he got to the evo at all in this game i use pump and he decides to just go pekka and all honestly honesty he should have went with the battle ram i'm really not sure why he didn't go battle ram right there i mean i would have been able to stop it but the pekka is just so much elixir and he's you are trying to get your evo for that the evo is a little unstoppable and He's not cycling to his Evo, he's just spamming with Pekka for some reason, because he thinks that we can't defend it. So, he's going to pop his ability here. He has no elixir. I'm going to arrow, takes out the little prince, and we zap. We're up like three, four elixir on, on him right now. I'm going to go another pump, I believe. I should. Yep, I do. And now he uses his battle ram for the very first time, and now it's double elixir. He had two chances to use his battle ram. Also, I don't know if that was a good LP ability. I think it's worth it because when you use your LP ability like this, it forces them to use their troops. And we forced out the ghost, and we're not going to do much but just get a golem and night witch push going. Now, he doesn't use his mother witch. Which it really I don't I don't understand why he did it. And so we we lightning the little prince and the Pekka, and then we get our Evo Zap, which takes out a Mother Witch. And so now his counter push is really weak, and the little prince is very strong. But he does take it out with the arrow and zap. But we have our Evo Berry, and we end up using the Golem to tank. For our Night Witch and our Evo Berry. I, I'm i able to zap. Cycle it again. So we'll get ready for his Mother Witch. And at this point. It's not really looking too good for Nye or Gabby. They still have only used their Battle Ram once. Which they should have been using it. And now they're, they have to spend their time. Focusing on defending my Golem Pushes. Because I, I can't get really good Golem Pushes early on in the game that's why i'm building elixir 
and we're able to just take the tower and destroy it. And he didn't utilize the battle ram or the mother witch, and that's exactly like why we won that game. Even if that he did use it, I still feel like I would have won the game just because he was wasting elixir in the beginning, just going Pekka for no reason. All right, and uh, I'll show you guys this giant skeleton executioner mortar graveyard game because <laughs> this was just a wacky one. I was not expecting my opponent to have any of these cards at all. Once I saw Mortar, I was like, okay, like, it's it's just Mortar. Uh, and when I saw Executioner, I, I wasn't even too concerned. But he goes Mortar first play, and I go Pump first play. I'm able to get my Little Prince to take out the Mortar. He uses Arrows, and... I'm pretty sure I'm just going to cycle my my berry. I do. And I believe he leaks some elixir there. What I try to not do is leak any elixir. So right now I'm holding off on using arrows for a little bit. But honestly, like at this point I was like, Mortar Graveyard? Like, you can't be serious right now. So I just go Golem thinking like, what, like, what else does he have? And then he has Executioner, which just ruins my whole push. And then he nails it. And at this point, I was like, I'm so screwed. But I do get a, another pump down. He ends up getting another mortar down, which doesn't really do much because we have our, our little prince on it. And I apologize. Apologize if you hear some barking. Those are my dogs. I am in the basement and the walls are not thick. So. Alright, we get our Night Witch down. The Duchess takes out the Executioner, which is really, really nice. I'm pretty sure a Cannoneer would also take it out, but we get another Golden Night Witch push. We still have to do this and create pressure because I know his Mortar's not in cycle. And we have to get our damage somehow. I do end up getting a lightning down on the executioner. Now lightning arrows takes out an executioner, but it's not the best elixir trade. And it does lose me a ton of the games. So right now I'm gonna go evil bomber on the mortar and I'm also going to evil zap on it. And fortunately, we get a we get the mortar to connect to the LP so the mortar does not hit our tower. And you know that was a very, very fortunate thing now what confuses me is the executioner focusing on the bomber there when i first placed it uh, but we get our zap down on these evo bats we take out the execution with the little prince our golemites are going to do a decent amount of damage the dagger duchess is just it's basically a buff to golem we're able to drag the giant skeleton with our golem that's a, that's a pro tip right there. You can use Golem to kite other troops, guys. It's it's very good. And Dagger Dutch is able to clean up the rest of the graveyard. We have Bats and our Golem on the tower. He doesn't have Mortar and Cycle because of all the Elixir. And that is just G-Cheese. Uh-huh. All right, this is going to be the last matchup, but this is Lava Loon, and this is a matchup that I do struggle against quite a bit. So we're just gonna go over what is going on. So we just cycle our our Barry first first play. He ends up fireballing. So as soon as my opponent uses fireball early game, I'm gonna go Night Witch, and I think I'm gonna go Golem because we have three spells in hand. He uses building, and actually we don't. I'm um, being smart. <laughs> I, Because in my head I'm thinking that this is graveyard. And if I go golem, then you know I'm not going to defend well against it. I get my pump down. It's so unfortunate because I was so dead set I'm getting my pump down. But we are able to get a lightning down. And unfortunately he gets another hit, which is just crazy. Nerf balloon, please. Um... I think they like if you're gonna let the bloom hit make it do less damage 
There's so many situations where it just does so much damage and when it shouldn't. So I'm going to get a golem down right now. We got a, mi a minute and 46 left. And because he used fireball, we're going to be able to get a night witch behind the golem. And I like to kind of space it out so that we have more time to build up our elixir and support our push. And build up the bats as well so that whatever he places focuses on the golem and the bats can kind of do work. So he does zap my bats, but we have LP and a couple of bats helping out with the minions and the baby dragon. Our golem is doing a lot of damage here. And I get a perfect little prince ability on his Skarmy. Had no idea he had it. And that is tower. That that was such a good feeling when that happened. And yeah, that's pretty much a game. But now he goes Lava Hound. And with Lava Hound, with my matchup, you need to go Lava Hound immediately. Early in the game. Because my only counters to it are my Night Witch Bats and my Little Prince. So, my opponent here seems like they're going to take out my tower, but since we have the Bats, since we have had time to build up our Elixir, we have Lightning Arrows, Evo Zap combo, which is just deadly. And I don't know why he didn't go for the other lane. He already had a ton of damage, and he probably could have taken out the tower if he went the other lane. So we use our pump to drag over that balloon. Our LP is going to get on it. We're going to be able to get arrows, take out everything, and it's just not enough. All right, guys, try out this deck for yourselves. Now, if you don't have the Little Prince leveled up, I do recommend using Mega Minion or Phoenix. Phoenix is doing really good in the meta right now, so highly recommend that. And, you know, if you only have one of the evolutions, I would say go for the Evo Berry. And, I mean, you could also just go with the Zap as well and replace Berry. But, yeah, I, I'd say the, the Bomber is just the most broken Evo in the game and will win you tons of games. It didn't really come in handy that game, but with Golem, it is just... It works wonders. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.